LinkedIn Sales Navigator is the GOAT for finding leads. But most sales reps are finding the same generic leads that even their competition have access to. Hey, it's Kevin from Prospio. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find better and faster leads than all your competitors. Plus, I'm giving away some of my best tactical strategies that you can steal to explode your pipeline with high quality leads. Welcome to the Ultimate LinkedIn Sales Navigator Masterclass. We have a lot to uncover, so let's jump right in. If you're new to Sales Navigator, you'll notice that there's two types of searches. There's lead filters, and then there's account filters. Lead filters is what we're mainly going to be focusing on. This is to target decision makers. And account filters is to target specific companies. Before we generate leads, we have to create a persona for your ideal customer profile, also known as your ICP. Who exactly are you selling to? Being crystal clear on your ICP is the difference between finding high quality prospects versus wasting time on leads with no interest in your product or service. Let's set this up in Sales Navigator. On your Sales Navigator homepage, click on personas and then create a new persona. Use all these filters to narrow down your criteria for your ICP. For example, I sell a lead generation software to help sales teams in the US find better quality leads. So name it, for example, sales ICP, set your filters. So function will be sales, seniority, director, VP, owner, and partners. Job titles would be head of sales, sales director, VP of sales, Geography will be United States. Click Save. Now click on Lead Filters. Under Workflow, click Persona to apply your saved ICP. Sales Navigator will now only show you relevant leads that match your ICP. One of the benefits of Sales Navigator is how advanced these filters are when it comes to creating a targeted search. But we can take this one step further. We can use what's called Boolean operators. This is going to help us get hyper-specific with our search. For example, if I'm targeting VP of sales, if I put that under current job titles in quotation marks, Sales Navigator will only show me leads with that exact job title on their profile. Sometimes instead of having VP of sales, people could have vice president of sales or sales vice president. So I can use the OR Boolean to enhance my search criteria even further. So here I can type in VP of sales in quotation marks, separated by OR, vice president of sales, or sales vice president. As you can see, the searches are much more refined. You can also use the AND operator to include specific keywords on your leads profiles. For example, if I wanted to target leads that are in B2B sales, I can type in sales and B2B. And here's a list of prospects that include both keywords. Lastly, I can use the not operator to exclude any job titles or keywords that I do not want. So for example, sometimes when you're searching for VP of sales, the results can show you VP of sales operations which is a totally different department that you do not want to include. In this case, you would type in sales and B2B, not sales operations. And this will exclude any irrelevant job titles. Another filter I'd like to highlight would be recent updates. So any leads who have changed jobs in the past 90 days or posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days can be filtered here. If you mark off these boxes, LinkedIn will only show you leads who meet that criteria. For example, if a lead has changed jobs or was promoted to a decision maker, this is a great conversation starter for personalized outreach. Similarly, if a lead has recently posted on LinkedIn, likely that means that they're active. And if they mention a problem that you can solve, then you can reach out with perfect timing. Next, let's talk about the connections of filter. 
This is one of my favorites because I can use this in a couple of different ways. First, you can type in the name of someone on your sales teams. For example, maybe this person has moved on to a different department and now you can overtake their leads and move them into your pipeline. You're going to get a list of all their connections that meet your criteria. So now you can either ask Matt for a warm introduction or reference, hey, I'm an associate of Matt and I'm here to take over your account or whatever the case might be. And the second way I like to use this filter is kind of cheeky, but it works. Start connecting with some of your competitors on LinkedIn. Once they accept your request, you can now type their name under this box. Now you can see a list of their connections that you can start prospecting. So a sample outreach message you can send is, hi name, I noticed that your company is still using competitors names software to find leads. Given your company's recent growth, you might be facing specific challenge. Our solution has helped companies like Client X achieve specific result. Is this something your team is looking to solve? With this approach, you're highlighting a feature that your competitor most likely does not have, but you do. And let's say you're talking to the lead and they mentioned that they don't like the data quality that your competitor provides. If you position your solution as a way that addresses that concern, then your lead will be more likely to take you up on having that conversation. So once you have your lead list built out, I recommend clicking on save searches to get notified of new results at the top. This way, anytime a new lead with your criteria comes up, you will be the first one to get notified so that you can move that lead down your pipeline. So once you narrow down your search, you can click on the boxes next to their names and save them to a lead list. Or you can click this box at the top and select all 25 leads and save them to your list. Here's a bonus tip to make new sales from previous customers. If you had previous clients in the past who were happy and satisfied with your product or service, add them to a lead list in Sales Navigator. These people are already familiar with you or your product or service, and they're more likely to become returning customers. So on Sales Navigator, click on leads at the top and go to your list of past clients. Click on change jobs in the past 90 days. So whenever one of your clients has changed jobs, you'll see them on this list and then you can reach out to them. So for example, if I see that Sue has recently been hired at a new company, I can use this as a conversation starter. So I could say something along the lines of, hey Sue, congrats on the new role at company name. It was a pleasure working with you at previous company. If, insert whatever solution you have, is top of mind again, I would be happy to share a few quick ideas. I'd love to collaborate with you again if that's something worth exploring. So this is a great way to capitalize on making new sales from old customers. You can even take this one step further. If there was a lead that you had a good conversation with, whether you're messaging, maybe, maybe you've called them, maybe you had a meeting with them, add all these people to a lead list. It doesn't matter if they haven't bought from you, but just keep them in this list. And every two weeks, I recommend checking whether or not they have changed jobs or change roles. This way, you can do a similar outreach approach. Maybe back then, it wasn't the right timing. Maybe it wasn't relevant. Maybe they didn't have to face that specific problem yet. So check in every so often and start a conversation with them and see whether or not this is now the perfect time. Next, let's go through account filters and I'm going to show you how to find specific companies that match your criteria in your industry or niche. There's a couple of different filters that I would like to highlight. First, let's go over technology used. If you're a SaaS company and your solution integrates with other software, you can include that specific software in this section. So let's say your software integrates with HubSpot. If you type in HubSpot here, you're only going to find companies that use HubSpot. And look at that, a more refined search. Now these are all the companies that you should be targeting. Next, we have the hiring on LinkedIn filter. This could be a key signal that you need to pay attention to. 
These companies are telling you that they're currently growing, which means they're going to face challenges that they haven't faced previously. So if your product or service can identify some of these challenges and provide them with a solution, they're more likely to be receptive to what you have to offer. Another related feature would be company headcount and company headcount growth. With these filters, you can filter by the sizes of the company. So for instance, if a company is actively growing by hiring a lot of people, they're looking to expand rapidly, which means that some of their systems and processes might not be able to handle the capacity at the rate they're growing. So if your product or service can address that issue, these would be great companies to reach out to. Next, I'm gonna show you five steps to find decision makers from these companies. So let's say you have a recruiting agency and you're looking to target marketing startups in the US who are actively hiring. For these filters, this is what we would choose. Company headcount would be one to 10 or 11 to 50 because they're startups, they're small. Their company headcount growth, I would put the minimum as 33% and leave the maximum as blank. Because if they're growing at 200 or 300%, I wanna make sure I capture all these companies that are growing faster than 33%. Click on add, headquarters location, I would put United States, industry, marketing services. Then under job opportunities, click on hiring on LinkedIn. Now you have a targeted list of companies that match your criteria, but you're not done yet. Next, you have to do a quick assessment of these companies to see whether or not they qualify for your offer. And here's one of the ways I like to do it. Let's say your recruiting agency specializes in finding sales talent. If you click on each company, under Growth Insights, click on Job Openings, you can see the exact jobs that they're looking to hire. If there is no sales-related roles, then this would not be a suitable company. If you see sales account manager, sales reps, then yes, this would be a great company that you should reach out to. So I recommend going down this list of companies, doing a quick five second scan, whether or not this is a suitable company that you can serve. And let's say you found one, then we can move on to step number three. Click on this box and save it to an account list. Once you have saved all these companies that are eligible for your offer to an account list, Step four is about finding decision makers from those accounts. So go back into the lead filters, under workflow, account list, include that list that you just created, and now you can filter by the decision makers. So for those smaller companies who are responsible for hiring, decision makers, job titles I would look out for would be HR managers, talent acquisition specialist, or director of recruiting. Again, you want to make sure your lead list is only filled with decision makers. Otherwise, you're wasting your time pitching your product or service, and this lead isn't even the right person to talk to. And finally, step five, once you have all the decision makers of those companies, reach out with relevance and make it about them. And there you have it. That's how you use Sales Navigator like a pro to generate the highest quality leads. If you got value from this video, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.